Hi everybody, Leslie here. Uh, this evening I'm going to be working on a project. I'm going to be working on um, putting a cover or decorating the cover to my Mixed Media Morsels journal book. Um, and I am so stealing um, this idea from Shannon Green. So I've never done this before. So you can watch me do this for the first time. Um, what I've already gone ahead and done first, um, this is a five star um, oh, notebook that's sewn. And the, the measurement of this particular book is five by, yeah, five by seven. Um, so the, anyway, <clears throat> I took double sided tape and I taped all the way around across here and across the back and I also have peeled off, this peels right off. This is the backing, the not the backing, this is the, the uh, covers up the spine on these little journals and I think I may do something to this, I'm not sure what yet, but I think I'm going to decorate it in some way to put on here. So I have gone ahead and done, like I said, I've got these all on here and I'm just going to burnish these real good to make sure they come up. I've never used this type of tape before, so we'll see how this moves, how it works. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do, since this is really kind of boring, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, put this in fast forward for you. I'm going to turn on my headphones and listen to some music and you can watch me and well, you can watch me, whatever you want to do, grab a cup of coffee, grab a tea, grab a Coke, whatever. And, uh, let's get started. All right. For some reason, I'm really having issues with my camera cutting out and I don't know why. And I'm getting really frustrated, but I got this much done. Um, in the mosaic. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up on this side and then um, hopefully demonstrate to you on this side, um, on the back side, because it's going to be the same design. So um, let me finish this side up so that you can see the whole process on this side. I'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks. Okay, here's the front cover all finished. I still have to decorate this part here and put it on. But let's go ahead and see if this will capture like it's supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and start my, um, my back. Let's hope this works out the way I want it to. Kind of get my bearings here. I'm going to put a bead of glue along this so that this doesn't un undo, come undone, I should say.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, Deco Art. Oops, sorry. My Deco Art Moss Pearl in the Dazzling Metallics for my binding. Oh, this is going to be pretty. And then I think I'm just going to attach it probably with um, gel medium. Okay, I'm going to take my Deco Art Matte Medium. And I'm going to put a little bit here along the spine where um, some of the string was coming loose. Boy, I hope I can get open this. There we go. My hands are I tell you, this arthritis is just killing me. But I'm just going to take my paintbrush. I'm just going to kind of run it along there to secure that string that's binding the book. I just kind of noticed that it was coming loose. And I'm just going to get this uh Alright, and I'm going to paint this. Move this out of the way here. <clears throat> Sorry. Don't mean to be so quiet tonight. I'm just really tired. But I really wanted to get this done and show y'all. And I'm just going to pull this over. Now I'm going to do the other side. And that green that I painted it, boy, I think that green really looks nice with this, the paper that I chose to cut into strips. And by the way, the strips of paper were cut at a quarter inch. And I just went through my stash. I didn't buy anything new. And I just took papers that I thought would look cool together. Awesome. Wipe this up here. So there's my cover. And see how shiny that metallic is on the spine there. You get a good. But yeah, I think it turned out really great. And I think what I may do is do a, um, a coat of matte medium over here just to uh, give it make sure these stay laid down and glued down my goodness and seal it and then I'll just let that dry overnight okay it's the next morning and I got a good night's sleep and the book has um, dried and it's got a nice smooth finish feels good nothing's moving on it and I started doing some more work on here and then I realized 
I forgot to turn on the camera, so luckily I didn't get too far. But what I'm doing is I have a water soluble USA Generals Scribe All All Surface Pencil in black. And it's water soluble, and that's important because I'm going to actually go over this with a water brush when I'm done. But what I'm doing is I'm just um, I'm just outlining in between to add a little dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up doing that on both sides, and I will be back. Hello there. I have finished um, outlining. Uh, all my st strips of paper with a water soluble charcoal pencil. You could use a Stabilo All, and actually, I'd love to use a Stabilo All, but you know what? I can't find one in any of my local arts and craft stores. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take my water pen, and I'm just going to, I've already primed the tip, and I'm just going to go along and wet. that pencil, the pencil marks, it's really not making a whole lot of a difference. I don't think. But that's it. I still, it just gives the slightest little bit. And you know, I know it's a mixed media morsels journal and, and all of that, but you know what? I really doing this kind of thing, um, the finer details, I really like. That's that's part of why I do what I do. Because I enjoy the finer details of it. Some people would say the tedious details of it. Well, that to me, that relaxes me. So that's why I do it. Um, you don't have to put, you don't have to do this. It looks just fine without it. But um, I enjoy it. You know what? I must have used, it looks better on this part than on this part. I must have used more, a heavier hand when um, drawing my lines. But, um, like I said, you know, art is interpreted differently for everybody. Not everybody's the same. But like I said, it just adds dimension. And I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish going over these with my water pen. And then what I'm going to do, and let me get it so you can see it. Hold on so I can show you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to take this out in my garage after I'm done with all of this. And then normally I would use the sealer, this sealer on it, but I only have it in a gloss. And I don't want this to have a gloss. I want it to have a matte finish. And I'm out of my matte in my Americana, so I have to order some more. But I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I'm going to take it out in the garage and I'm going to seal it real good with this because I know there's more things that I want to do to it. And I just want to get a really good um, sealer on here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up with my water brush. And then I'm going to go out and seal this. And then I think, I think we might call it a day. I'm not positive. I have some ideas of what I'd really like to do on this cover. But I may not be ready to do that part yet. So anyway, I'll be back. 
So yes, I think this will finish up our installation of the mosaic strip cover to my mixed media morsels journal. I really hope you enjoyed uh, watching this process tutorial on how I did this. I hope that you will try this and like it and let me know. So please be sure to um, give me a thumbs up, to like, and please subscribe. Um, I, I love to hear from you, so please be sure to leave me a comment. And I hope you all have a really great day. And thanks so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.